Hey there, welcome back to our Live from ISS series. And for this one, we have Bray Allen talking to our VP of Engineering, Brad Estolos. Brad was actually the very first employee of Steel Blue. So he's designed every single product that we've ever put out into the marketplace, whether it's the 7530, which is our first offering, the 9530 series as our current offering, the commercial doors, the wind rated line, all of our hallway systems, everything we can attribute to Brad Estolo. So we're very grateful to have him on the team. And we're very excited for you to get to meet the mind behind the doors. And he's got a whole lot of exciting things to share with you as far as what we've got coming up next. So let's dig in. Good afternoon. Bray Allen here, Chief Product Officer with Steel Blue. I had the honor and privilege of working with Mr. Brad Astolas. Brad is our VP of Engineering at Steel Blue, an integral part in our product development process. So we wanted to talk with Brad a little bit today and have him tell us a little bit about some of the new things that he's rolling out this year. He's, as I said, he's been an integral part of it. Welcome, Brad Stolas. Yeah. Brad, thank you for being part yeah. of the team, man. Thank Appreciate you for doing this interview. Appreciate it. So just tell the audience a little bit about you and how you became a part of Steel Blue and what your careers looked like over the past few years, just so that they kind of understand a little bit about who Brad is. Yeah, I started back with Rich day one, basically. I had value added and then came on board as a designer, basically engineer. Got started with it brand new to the door business itself. So pretty much the only person that hasn't come, has a background from the door business itself. So led me to down a path that where I'm learning everything from everybody and get, get a little bit more experience from you, especially as well. So it's been great. Yeah. yeah, so I remember some of the stories when I became part of the team, how you guys had talked about how the startup phase was basically in a garage and then in an old building, just, I don't know that y'all even had real lighting, <laughs> right? When you started putting things together. Tell me a little bit about who you worked with intimately and, and getting the concept and the things of that nature put together. How did you get drawn into the door business? Yeah, this is just uh, got interviewed by Rich and Gary initially at first, and they had this kind of concept of what they wanted to do with a door product, try to get into the market. So we just started from day one and started making some prototypes and like an old garage and hung some doors on some plywood two by four frames just to see get the concept to make sure it worked and from that we were off and running it worked yeah. and we went step by step to get it to where we are today it's crazy yeah i remember the first door when i first got called up to to frankfurt there when rich invited me up to take a look at it <laughs> i walked in and saw the first door that you built and i was like oh, you guys don't need me <laughs> you just crushed it right we've come a long way since then absolutely uh, but Man, what, a, what an exceptional process for you to get started, not having any knowledge and background really in the door industry. Kudos to you and the way you've excelled through the process and learning this industry. I'll just, I'll throw this out there. For those that might be interested in Brad Astolas, he's not going anywhere. So he is a part of the Still Blue family. He was born and bred into the door business under Still Blue, and he will continue to be a part of that family. Brad, I just wanted to take an opportunity and thank you for all that you've done. It. You've developed some amazing products. I'm excited about what you're doing coming up later this year and even into next year. I know you've, you and I have talked about several big things that we've got in the pipeline. We won't talk about them too much yet, but uh, tell us a little bit about the product line that you're rolling out towards the end of this year. Yeah, we're looking like trying to get a, most of our wind load rated doors out and probably a whole line of commercial doors at the same time. So we're waiting on Florida approval right now for all the wind load stuff. So here in the next couple months, we'll be full bore and ready to manufacture all those doors and get them rolled out and you'll start seeing new developments on the website and stuff that'll help people develop and pick a door selector that'll help people choose what best product that we make for their application. Looking forward to it, for sure. Yeah, I know when we did the wind load testing, I won't call any names for, for protection in the industry, but when we did the wind load testing, the people at the lab there, they really complimented you on how well yep. your wind load door without wind locks performed. I think it exceeded what their expectations were, and they're the test lab. Yep. Tell us a little bit about that, that, I think it's the 9570 series. So what are you anticipating that looking like? What makes that door special as it pertains to the self-storage industry? Yeah, I think it's just our knowledge, I think collaboratively put together, we developed a door that probably exceeds most people, everybody else in the, in the market and- The ingenuity, yeah. The ingenuity yeah, right. behind it. So I think, yeah, I think once we roll it out, people will be really surprised about how well it works. So more to come on it in the next following couple months, but for sure. Yeah, being a door industry veteran myself, it's amazing to me and I was in a little bit of shock and awe as to how well that door performs without wind locks in a high wind event. Seeing that, and I think again, that's what was impressive for the lab yeah. technicians is that 
they didn't anticipate a door without <laughs> wind locks sustaining so, that kind of pressure. Yep. So again, dude, just whatever little genius stuff you have going on up there, you just keep it up, man. Excited about you being on the team and about what you've done to get right. Steel Blue to the point that they're at today. So look Appreciate forward to a few more years of it for sure, and then I'm going to hang it up. Good work. <laughs> Again, thank yep. you and your team for all that you guys have done. Appreciate it, man. Ladies Appreciate and gentlemen, Brad Stolas, VP of Engineering for Still Blue. Thank you.